Alright guys, welcome back to J Solo Arts. In today's video, we're going to be doing another test and review of the Scale 75 Contrast Paint Line Instant Colors. The color we're going to be reviewing today is called Dragon Blood. SIN02 is the number. Um, on a Forbidden Fortress female samurai, I wanted to have some crazy blood red intimidating armor, so I think this is just the right color for that. So, with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get painting. All right, guys, welcome back to the paint bench. Today, we're gonna to be doing another test and review of instant colors. This time, the color is Dragon Blood, SIN-02. It's a gorgeous maroon, black, red color. We're gonna be using it on another Forbidden Fortress Mini, the Female Samurai. You can see right here, we've got her in a black to white Zenithal Prime. Really wanna give her a fierce red armor. So, uh, Let's get started. Give this paint a quick shake. And again, with scale 75 paints, you'll notice this right here is sealed. A little plastic that needs to be pierced. I got my handy dandy dental tool here. Try not to spill as I do this. It always wants to shoot a drop of paint out, just like that. Looks like I'm bleeding. I would say that's effective blood color. Okay, we're gonna give two drops of paint in my palette. Cap back on tightly. Using the Citadel small base brush. It's a well used brush for me. Let's zoom in. And get to work. I think this will work really nice. Thinner than I expected, but it is a gorgeous color. Covering very nicely. Probably going to require a second coat to get the deep, dark red that I'm looking for. That's nice, though. Let's go on the back side. underneath her hair. All right. This stuff covers just so nicely. I love it over the Xenothal Prime. It's just a perfect glaze. Oh wow, yeah, it's great on the shoulder pad. It looks good. Dragon's blood. Appropriate for a samurai, I think. Helmet. I'm liking these Forbidden Fortress minis. I'm finding them to be inspirational. Samurai and ninjas and sumos and sorcerers. A lot of great inspiration in these figures. All kinds of great colors you can put on them. Can't really do anything wrong with them. They're just really neat. shoulder pad. Pauldron, you might say. I've been watching The Mandalorian. Pauldron is a very used word in The Mandalorian. Anybody else watching The Mandalorian? 
I guess I'm watching it for a second time. That's how much I liked it. Starting from season one, episode one. I'll go ahead and just paint that there too. Not sure exactly where this armor ends, but we can always come back and touch it up. All right, still got some paint on the palette. Let's go ahead and do this whole chest area here. Okay, if it's not in the right spot, we can always come back and go over it with another paint. expert on samurai armor and what exactly is what. But just trying to get the armor. Get back in the frame, there we go. Trying to get the armor all this color. back that the armor is. Not too worry about applying a second coat over a slightly tacky on something with this kind of texture to it. It's not as noticeable over something that's a, a you know a perfectly smooth surface. Don't have to worry as much about painting over half tacky paint because the surface is forgiving in that regard and I really want this to be fully saturated red color here let's just continue that looks like the armor goes all the way around might as well just yeah, get down in there with this here. I go ahead and paint this part of the arm too because again I think much of that is armor. Tough to tell. And again we'll come back with the basic opaque paint later on if we need to and adjust that. All right, still got almost another half a drop of paint left in the palette, so this stuff is covering well. Even with all the little nooks and crannies of her armor, we're getting this completely done with two drops. All right, looking for spots to hit here as to not waste my paint. I'm kind of a cheapskate when it comes to that. If I put it on the palette, <laughs> I feel like I gotta use it. it. Isn't always the best plan. All right. Looks like we're finishing up here. Give you guys a last look. See? That real nice, deep blood, dragon's blood color. It's exactly how I wanted that to look. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, give us a subscribe right over here. If you push that subscribe, <laughs> yeah. 
hit that subscribe and you'll become a member and you'll know, get notified of whenever I have a new video out. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.